You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing a discussion video about, um, what, you said the 205 Live Cruiserweight Championship Tournament? Yeah. It's almost like the rebirth of 205 Live. Um, kind of working on a clean slate here. Yeah, I was going to say, it seems like they're trying to, I guess, re not rebrand, but like redo. Right. What? So, oh, what were you going to say? Well, I was going to say what, because... Um, it seemed like when they started 205 Live, they had a, a very, I guess, tame version of what they wanted the Cruiserweights to do in the Cruiserweight Classic. Mm -hmm. And Right, yeah, now, it was kind of watered down. Now it seems like they're going to try to uh, revamp it a little bit. Yeah, because the Cruiserweight Classic did so well on the network, and mm -hmm. then they were like, oh, great, we, we should probably make a show of this. It's a, an awesome, uh, you know viewership and things like that and mm -hmm. you have to think about it. think about it, how many guys on the indies were in the tournament and then not signed to a contract and then you're left with you know not to take anything away from these guys but it wasn't you didn't have star power there yeah exactly to really start off the show mm -hmm. um but right now we're down to 12 cruiserweights i think in the division yeah it's very very thin considering yeah. that i can't believe neville's still on the website no they're making him I think his contract is frozen right now. Oh, yeah. Hmm. That's, that's the latest I heard. But uh, So last night on 205 Live, Daniel Bryan came out and named a new general manager. Yes. What was his name? Drake Maverick, I think. I is, think that's That name. was his name. So this was Rockstar Spud in TNA, mm -hmm. Impact Wrestling, GFW, everything else. Mm -hmm. um, did not come out to the biggest reaction. No, um, it... Like you had said, it seemed like no one really knew who he was, because mm -hmm. um, obviously no one had heard the name before because it's brand new. Um, I, I guess a lot of people didn't recognize him. Yeah, I, there I, was a couple of spud chants in the crowd, and yeah. then even I think Vic Joseph was like, that's ro Rockstar Spud. It was like he... Well, no, he said formally known oh, formally, as yeah, Rockstar yeah. Spud, because um, I, I, <coughs> I knew who he was because I had heard of him before. Mm -hmm. Um, and I heard that he was, um, uh, that he got signed. Yeah. Um, so I wasn't I, surprised about it. No, I, we fi I figured he was going to be a talent though, rather yeah. than, but who knows? He could transition into a talent role. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Or at least have some matches or whatever. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> the fan reaction wasn't great. Kind of felt bad for the guy a little bit because he came out all excited yeah, and, but he, it, oh, he did he fine. Yeah, 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 absolutely. He had he had a good promo saying that he wants to revamp 205 Live, mm -hmm. and he wants it to be the way that it should be and yep. everything. Um, and so he announces there's going to be a 16 man tournament to determine the uh, the new cruiserweight championship that'll culminate at WrestleMania. Yeah. So does that mean that we're actually going to get a wrestle a cruiserweight match on the main card? As long as there's no, uh, it has to be on the main card if they're going to do something like this. You know, you you would think, yeah, because they make such a big deal about it. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I didn't even really think about that. Yeah, but no, that makes sense. Um, nah, it's going to be on the pre-show. Yeah. So when they said that, my immediate thought is. I'm going to get 16 people, because <laughs> like you said, there's only a handful of cruiserweights yeah, right, 12 now. right now. Yeah, 12 right now, because we... Um, so, they announced the first two matches. Mm -hmm. The first one will be Grand Metalik versus uh, Alexa uh, Cedric Alexander. Yeah. Which I don't think we've seen that match before, since they've generally worked as a tag team. Um, Yeah, I think you're right. If Yeah, because yeah. Metalik's been working TJP yeah. for a while. Right, and he's a, they've been both faces there yeah. the entire time. Yeah. Um, and then the other match was um, TJP versus TJ, okay. Tyler Bate. Yeah, I wanted to open with who he was facing, but oh, I couldn't okay. remember who it was. <laughs> yeah, so they basically brought this on as the first Cruiserweight champion versus the first UK champion. Yes, that's how so, they... Uh, yeah, which I was pleasantly surprised to hear oh, yeah. about this. Well, it, it's, it's good that they're integrating a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, it looks like that that's going to be their strategy to fill out this tournament. Right. Because they also announced for next week that it's going to be Roderick Strong against um, Hideo Itami. Hideo Itami. Just NXT guys going against each it, other. Pretty much, but Itami <laughs> is actually no, yeah. on 205 Yes, and now. Roderick Strong was a number one contender and for the NXT championship and had title matches. So. Yeah. 
So I guess it's trying mm-hmm. to bring Hell, he up. he was wrestling, uh, what's his face, a couple weeks ago? Lars Sullivan. Lars Sullivan, yeah, exactly. They wanted to bring up, I guess, the, the level of competition mm-hmm. in the tournament. Yep. Um, I would imagine mostly the winners will be actual 205 Live um, op- uh, I guess contestants. Yes. Um, but I guess having the NXT people come up and I guess prove or provide, you know, enhancement. I guess. And uh. but I mean, it's it's weird that they just announced it like this because I mean, if you want to bring eyes to the product, you know, bringing guys from NXT. But I mean, it was the first week. That's true. So it's still a chance. Oh, that... I, I'm sure that on NXT they're going to talk about. Yeah. It. Um, and did you say the second match next week, which was Kalisto versus Lince Dorado? Oh, yeah, Clint, Kalisto versus yeah. Lince, which is two current 205 right. So I'll probably do that for yeah. the first round. And the reason you probably bring up that it'll be a 205 Live guy that wins it is because TJP actually went over Tyler Bate. Yes, that was definitely surprising. And Cedric well, Alexander went over Metal League. Yeah, I wouldn't well. say surprising. It's surprising in the fact that, that that's the way the match went, but... Thinking about it, it does make more sense. Right, yeah. No, absolutely. The cruiserweights themselves will mm-hmm. continue. Yeah. So with these four out of the way, that only leaves eight other people with uh, Tozawa, Davari, Gulak, Gallagher, um, Mustafa, and Tony Nice. Yep. Very, yeah. very sparse. So we've heard that Rich Swan was... All the charges against him were dropped, mm-hmm. so I wouldn't be surprised if they did honor his contract, which I don't see why they wouldn't because... Well, if there's been no official statement of release, that means yeah, anything's no, no. possible. Right. Yeah, so this possibility for, to bring him back. Mm-hmm. And Neville. Neville. It's always possible. Mm-hmm. Um, it would be a good way to reintroduce him. The only problem is, do does he want to be a part of it? Because, you know, he was so unhappy with the way everything right. was going. Well, he did have to give the title to Enzo. <laughs> it's true. Um, but it very well could be that this is what they it needed to, leads, yeah. to do. And then, so, like I said, that leaves two spots open in the tournament. Yeah. Um, people I had thought of was, you know, if they brought Johnny Gargano up. That would make Just sense. for this, that would be definitely put eyes on it as mm. he's the biggest baby face in NXT. And you also have Leo Rush. Yeah, he is a possibility. Also, the new signee, Ricochet. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what their plan is for him. Yeah. I, he could he could be champion anywhere. It's true. I mean, he is under 205, and if they really wanted to put a star in this division and give it life, he would be the man to do it. It's true. Um, if, even if their plan isn't ultimately to keep him on 205 Live. Right, at least a jump start. Well, they could put him in the tournament. And have him win, and then eventually lose to a heel who cheats to win. Right. Like, put him up or against... Or that's how you bring Neville back, or something like that. Yeah. that So that he doesn't look like... Uh, so he looks good, mm-hmm. and but he's not going to sweep the competition and right. do the usual, okay, the new guy goes over kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so that would be the best way to do it, if yeah. they're going to do that. Um, but, so. I mean, you with the tournament, you're giving every match meaning... That's yeah. going to take place on mm-hmm. 205 Live up until WrestleMania. So yes. hopefully, as long as they push the product yeah. like it's supposed to be, because I'm, honestly, it's been the bastard child of WWE. Well, yeah. It does not get any promotion. Nope. You, you'll uh, hear doesn't they, don't they cut that from the Hulu version of Raw mm, whenever they're the on Raw? majority of the time they do, yes. Yeah. And... Um, um, we did not see them on Raw this past week. Yeah, um, I was going to bring that up. It seems like they're trying to take them off of Raw altogether. Because on 25, there was also no Cruiserweight segment. Uh, well, yeah, right. They wrestled dark matches on yes, at the Manhattan but they, Center. they could do that anywhere, though. It's true, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, You'd still keep them for main event or something like that. Yeah, because it, it seems like because Daniel Bryan announced the general manager that maybe they're going to start pushing this more of a SmackDown entity since it is on Tuesday nights and everything. So if they keep them off of Raw, that gives Raw more time to breathe with all their storylines. Yeah. Um, they can promote 205 Live matches on Raw and SmackDown with mm-hmm. the... With Even the, just like a 30-second thing of what yeah. happened last week on yeah, 205. Exactly, just and they to, do that anyway. That's right. the majority of what they do. Yeah. So this would be a, a better strategy where you're not wasting time on one of the shows, mm-hmm. but you're able to convey... 
and you have a strong um, backing with Daniel Bryan being like uh, an advocate for the brand. Right. Because he keeps on saying how, how much he enjoyed the Cruiserweight Classic. Right. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so that would be the, the smart thing to do. Because mm-hmm. them being on Raw, they're not getting their due, uh, due justice and everything. So No, not at all. They're just thrown out there in random tag matches yeah. and Nothing things really like that. Nothing really happens no. that matters. They don't get over. So, so um, yeah, that, that would be the probably the smart thing to do for right. them. And it's just, they kind of went with the direction at first with the Cruiserweights, because honestly, that was my favorite show at one point, was 205 Live, because everyone had a established story. Mm-hmm. There was always storylines going on. They always had something new. Yeah, the matches after, were good. Every- after the first few months, it, it started to pick up. Right. And the problem was, is why are we putting all this time into a product that's not getting any eyes? And that's, that's kind of what happened. And then it turned into the Enzo Amore show. And then now we're here. It's true. They had to completely redo everything. Yep. Yeah, really. Yeah. So. And now it's only a half hour long. Yeah. Was that all it was last night? It was 45, 45 minutes, minutes last yeah. night. But that's still, it, it's been like a half hour the right, last yeah, few yeah. weeks. So, so yeah, I, I, but I would assume NXT guys are what they're gonna do to fill it out. I don't think there's any other signings no. that I've heard of. No, I don't think so. No, but so, but yeah, the tournament should be good. Yeah. Um, like, hopefully the main or the the last match will be on the actual WrestleMania card. Yeah, and they'll actually let these guys go. Yeah, well, that's the big thing. Because mm-hmm. um, last year we had Aries versus Neville. That was good, and that was a good match, yeah. but. Obviously, it's on the, the pre-show. Well, that and both of them are no longer, no longer around. With the, yeah, um, but yeah, it's so the, the first two matches really didn't show a whole lot, but that doesn't mean anything. No, but um, we also watched, you know, how much wrestling in the last couple of days. Also, doesn't help. Yeah, and the crowd was even into it. You even got TJP Tyler Bate chance going yeah, on. That was that was surprising. Yeah, but but yeah, yeah. So. We will see how things progress. Um, I, I hope hope this goes well because, like I said, I do enjoy the the cruiserweights, and I think giving them their own platform rather than being associated with another brand is definitely the way to go. Yeah, because it doesn't make any sense for them to piggyback off of something else when they're not even close to being similar in right. the their styles. Mm-hmm. So, but this yeah. seems like they're going in the right direction. Yep. So. I guess until next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Yes, and if you'd like, leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. All right. Bye. Bye.